Hello everyone. Hi. Well, welcome everyone. So I'm going to read some books for you today. And these books are about science. So the book I want to read to you today is called There Was a Black Hole That Swallowed the Universe. And you can see I have the book here in front of me. There was a black hole that swallowed the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a galaxy. It left quite a cavity after swallowing that galaxy. And it, there it is, big spiral galaxy. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a star. It couldn't get far, that bright shining star. Look at that star. It's like the sun, eh? Yeah. It doesn't want to get swallowed. <laughs> it swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a planet. Very organic, this fine looking planet. Look at, you recognize that planet? <laughs> it swallowed yeah. the planets that orbited stars, it swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies, it swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a cell. It might get unwell after swallowing a cell. All sorts of cells there. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a molecule. It thought it was fuel, a big molecule. There it is right there. Yeah, that molecule is methane. <laughs> Let me use this fuel. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed an atom. It's hard to get at them. Those tiny atoms, can you see them? Oh, they're so small. Look at that atom. It swallowed the atoms that built up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited the stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a neutron. A good start to build on a neutral neutron. It swallowed the neutrons that stabled the atoms. It swallowed the atoms that built up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited the stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a quark. That's all there was. And now it's dark. And that's the end of there was a black hole that swallowed the universe. Now, in the actual book, which is right here in front of me, let me find that page that we were on. Okay, I'm gonna flip through and find that last page. That's all there was and now it's dark. Oh, there's the page right there. Okay, and I also have a UV torch. So, oh, shines ultraviolet light. If I shine it on the page, oh, what's that on the page? There's a secret story on the page. And there's a whole story that goes in reverse. But you can see how difficult it is for me to hold up the book and the light at the same time. So you have to get a copy of that book and find yourself a UV torch like this. And you'll be able to read that that story in reverse. This story starts 
there was a big bang that created a quark. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a neutron held together by gluons, an unstable neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created an atom. It's not hard to fathom, a simple atom. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a molecule. Its atoms were dual, a diatomic molecule. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a cell. It had its own shell, the fragile cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a planet. It started volcanic, this rocky planet. It created the planet to protect the cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a star. The light will shine far from this medium-sized star. It created the star to heat the planet. It created the planet protect the cell, it created the cell with organic molecules, it created the molecule bonded from atoms, it created the atom to house the neutron, it created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a galaxy spinning round its own gravity, a spiral galaxy. It created the galaxy filled with stars. It created the star to heat the planet. It created the planet to protect the cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created all space. What a great place, our beautiful space. And that's the end of the reverse story. So now you've seen both stories. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. There was a black hole that swallowed the universe. And maybe you can join me for some more reading of different stories at another time. Okay, I want everyone to have a great day. Bye. Let's learn with Dr. Chris.